<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going through Baby Girl's nursery. I am pretty sure that by the time that this video goes out, she'll be here. Who knows? I have a feeling. <laughs> At the time of filming, I'm doing three days, which is so exciting. <laughs> I actually can't, I actually can't believe it. The room that we're in, you might recognise, this has been Jack and I's bedroom me and Jack's bedroom. Since we really moved in, and then we obviously have been working on getting our bedroom finished, which is done now, so we've moved in there, and then this was just our spare room, or that was the plan, uh, and then I fell pregnant. So we quickly had a look at the house and decided that this is just the perfect room for not only like a nursery, but a kid's bedroom, up to a teenager's bedroom. It's such a gorgeous, room i feel really happy that we're able to do this for our baby girl i'm going to call her baby girl or the baby because although she might be here i don't know if yeah i just don't know i don't know if we'll have said the name or anything yet i feel like we're at a really lovely stage in this room when it comes to like our clothes and stuff like that i wouldn't say we were over prepared if that makes sense so i've got quite a lot of stuff to get but i thought that that may be fun when she's here get a little sense of what she's like when we first came to see this house this was actually the, the lady that lived here's dressing room. And I'll never forget, there was like shoe rails the whole way along this wall, just filled with Vivian Westwood shoes. It was so cool. So this room's got a really nice vibe kit. Like I said, me and Jack have stayed in here for quite a long time. If you've watched any of the other kind of like housey bits that I've been filming, you'll know that we've been kind of renovating our way around the house. And this room was probably the quickest turnaround for obvious reasons. But what we have done in here is our full rewire. We got the floors all taken up. Up and we've got new floors put down. The walls we didn't end up getting taken back and getting replastered or anything. We didn't bother with that. We just kind of patched them up and we got some new radiators and things. So it has been completely done. We got rid of the gross old curtains finally uh, and we got some blinds put up in here because obviously it needs to be good for wee baby and it just feels like honestly it feels like the nicest room and the nicest space. Me and Jack just sitting here all the time. So I thought that we could go through all of the furniture and a little show, a little show of like what we've kind of got planned in the drawers and stuff. I'm really happy to say as well that a portion of this video is sponsored by Mamas and Papas. So even you've got really not a clue about wee babies or what kind of stuff you need, Mamas and Papas is incredible. Their website almost like breaks it down into category of things that you will need. It's super helpful. I'm really happy to be working with them and I think you're going to really love the bits that we've got as well. Let's start with our crib. This is her crib and actually right next to that we've got a chest of drawers. This is actually genius because it doubles up as a changing table which when she grows out of needing that we can actually take this bit off and just have it as a chest of drawers. But this is our cot. I really love the design of this. I thought that the colour as well because this room is these kind of like muted pinky dusky tones. If we were to go for a wood that was too warm I don't think it would look right. We have one of the natural mattresses with with a waterproof cover and like cotton sheet as well. I'll make sure that I link all the little bits that, that kind of accompany it. But what's so cool about this is it actually lasts up until like she's like a toddler. There's actually two more like wooden parts that you can take the sides off and just put the wooden parts on and then you've got a toddler bed. It's absolutely genius. I think the design of it is nice and traditional but without being too much. I think it just it fits this room perfectly. And then inside, obviously when you've got a wee baby, she probably won't be in here for quite a while but you're not really meant to have any cushions and stuff. That's just for show. This is from Jolien, I think, but it's basically just the little mobile holder. And our mobile is actually not going to be here for another month. So I've just put this little toy, which is so sweet. I got this at my baby shower. How cute. And whenever me and Jack come in here, we actually just pull this string. Aww. I've just put this little blanket over the top. My granny actually knitted this for her, which is so sweet. And we've got a couple other blankets and things that we can put over the side. Again, it's just really for show, but it looks so cosy and neat. The chest of drawers, the kind of changing table. This is also Atlas. Again, perfect colour for in here. I've got our changing mat on top. And then this top drawer, we're going to fill with nappies, wipes. We've got cotton wool for her skin. I think cotton wool and warm water at the start is really good. We've got some bags from Snuggle, which is our nappy bin. Just here, literally touch to open and you just chuck the nappies in. Genius. 
And we've actually got another one of these nappy caddies, which is great. But I think in here, I think this is perfect, having all our nappies and stuff right there. And then we've got two other drawers underneath that we can use for her clothes and things once we're stocked up. So I've actually only got these two bits of furniture sitting out. There's actually a matching wardrobe as well, which is absolutely gorgeous. I think if you were just wanting to furnish your entire nursery, the three-piece set of Atlas is so perfect. I feel like the style and the colour that these are would go with anything so no matter what your kind of nursery preferences are, I actually think that this would be such a perfect set. We've actually got her name in the most amazing bunting. I got it on Etsy and it came really quickly actually, but I couldn't recommend it enough. I'll pop a little picture up here of the kind of style it is, but this is not her name. <laughs> and I can't wait, as soon as she's here, we're gonna put it up on the on the wall. I found this, I think, I'm sure it's called King and McGaw. It's a website that you can get prints, but they come completely framed and the quality is unbelievable. So I've got one of my favourite Moomin kind of landscapes and then I just thought this is so cool, this is the Picasso pig and obviously she's going to get older and she's going to you know, want to choose things for her own room so I thought it was kind of perfect because we can take these downstairs and put them in like the family room when she doesn't want them on her wall anymore when she's choosing it herself but I thought that these are really nice to start with. Next is her Narnia wardrobes. I talked about these quite a long time ago and I've just been waiting to get them delivered but the whole thing that I was obsessed with was the idea of being able to put like a wreath over top at Christmas time. So that's the kind of thing I think about. And then in here we have her clothes and honestly like miscellaneous items. So if I bring you closer, these wardrobes are so beautiful. They are functional but what I will say is they're definitely more of a kind of thing to look at. It's so good that we've got this rail at the top and actually it's really really nice for her like her, her wee clothes bits and we're going from newborn which I think is down this side. Yeah, we're going from newborn, so tiny wee clothes, and then we kind of have it graduating up, but you'll see like there's not that much stuff here. And I suppose it's just to see what she likes. I have seen so many people say, I bought tons of swaddles and my hate, my kid hates being swaddled. So there's just, just, you know, stuff like that. I can definitely see why there's like, a market for nursery furniture because it's the functionality makes a huge difference. I think that these are beautiful but functionality wise they're probably not 100% suitable for a nursery. I love this cupboard so much it's from Silver Birch and I will 100% have it in the house forever but I don't know whether it's going to live in here forever so I'm happy we've got the wardrobes. So on the top we've got her clothes. Honestly most of our clothes are presents from friends and family. We've really not been buying that much stuff. The main thing that I have got uh, are these little sleeper onesies which are great. I've just realised though that they've got closed feet and she's apparently measuring with the longest legs on the planet so there's a chance we'll have to cut the feet off. So I really like that we've got some stuff on show up here and then as we move down like we've got her baby monitor which we ended up getting the Kubo AI. Friends of mine have this and say it's amazing, say it's the best. So we've got that ready to go up when we need it. We've got the world of Peter Rabbit, we've got all the books. This is a present left Christmas. I can't believe that I'm going to have Christmas with a wee baby. It's the most exciting thing ever. And then if I angle you down, you'll see that we've got these baskets. These baskets I got on Amazon and I think that they're brilliant. They're so good for the nursery. So in here we've got sheets. This is actually for her little bedside crib, which we've got in our bedroom already. We've got all these little kind of like teddy blankets. Carriers, so we have the Artipop and we've got the Baby Born. Both amazing brands, really, really love that. And then in this one, we've actually just got tons of blankets and swaddles and muslins, which, uh, and towels, little baby towels as well. This all probably needs like organized a little bit more. And now that we've got so much drawer space, we can kind of put like the stuff that we'll reach for all the time in there. And honestly, probably the, the baby carriers and stuff are gonna live downstairs because we'll be putting her on all the time. Right at the bottom, we've just got another worker basket. And then that's actually all stuff for her pram when it's raining. So again, we'll probably move that downstairs to. Uh, one of my best, my besties, Jade, got her little baby Doc Martens. <laughs> I think they're so cute. I actually can't cope, cannot cope 
oh my god and then one other thing to show you just because it's the coolest ever so when i was in chicago for work we had a like a lunch like a brunch thing for our vive customers just to meet like a bunch of people one of the lovely ladies that came to hang out during that day said it should she brought a present and she was like i've had this since my kids were tiny, I always said that I wouldn't be able to give it away. And then she started watching me and she was like, you're the only person that I can imagine having this. And honestly, it is so special to me. So I am so grateful if you're watching this. Thank you so much. But this is a Harley Davidson like pram cozy thing. You know how you get like in a, the, the sleeping bags? So it's like something you put in the pram or in the car seat that's just like a big cozy, warm, I don't even know what you call this but it's for six to nine months this is in her wardrobe ready for when she's ready loads to do loads to fill but such like such a nice start then you turn around and then there's the door this is just a really gorgeous little kind of hanging mural this is from h&m and it was actually a gift from ava so lovely it's really really cute in the back of her door little bougie baby has got the same light fixtures <laughs> as us and then we went for the same radiators as well that we've got in our bedroom just because I think it's so classy I love these radiators and actually it's so cozy warm in here I have to say that this has been one of my favorite things to do oh you can see our wee plugs there go as well me and Jack went to Waterstones last weekend and picked up all of these classic classic books it just really brought me back it's so good I've honestly just sat in here reading through them and it's been the best and then right above there same place that we got the other prints from but this is from Where the Wild Things Are and I actually remember being young and thinking that this was my favourite picture in the whole book so I thought that was really cool so that's right above her little library and then I just think this is so great because she can change out the books you know as she gets older as she gets old enough to have favourites we can have them on display but until then I thought this is really cute and I'm wildly aware that <laughs> the room itself is quite sad beige baby right but but there's going to be little bits of fun like this and then when she gets older and has her own preferences she can have whatever bloody room she likes that moves us on to these drawers these are the same as the wardrobe so from silver birch again so gorgeous love them we'll have them in the house forever are they functional for a nursery no <laughs> but when we pull this one out i do have these little ducats from amazon so if i show you these little boxes actually fit perfectly so we've got all our little kind of like hats in here we've got bibs we've got these kind of button vests that are terry toweling we've got little shoes oh my god you're gonna die can you cope with these little boots that are actually i'm just gonna spend the rest of my life crying aren't i and then it's like oh my god our little socks too sweet so we've got some clothes in here and then again oh my god look there's our name oh you don't know, you don't know. So we've got loads of empty space, which is great, but it's just, we just actually don't have as much stuff as I thought we would. The drawers themselves are beautiful, and I do think that they, they get kind of easier to open and shut over time, but we might like wax the runners or something. Actually, this is just sitting on the desk and I want to show you. This was a present from one of my other besties, Claire, and I actually had seen this on Instagram and wanted to buy it. <laughs> it says, birthday letters to my baby. And it's something that you fill out. And do you know what? It's the perfect amount of filling out as well. You can write little letters, the day you're born. You can put in photos. And then the whole idea is it goes right up to when they're 18. And then you can give it as a present on their 18th birthday. So really, really sweet. This cup actually goes really nicely in here. This is the Zara kind of oblong mirror. If I show you the top, you can see it's kind of asymmetric for a baby's room anything to like straight lines I, I was kind of wanting to avoid I want everything to be quite soft and it's quite dreamy in here it's quite dreamlike and it's like cozy so I just thought that this went really well also I think it's really important to have a mirror in your baby's room so you can show them themselves and tell them how perfect and beautiful they are I can't believe I've got three days to go look she is there <laughs> <laughs> it's just like sticking out like an egg. Another reason that I love having an older house is we've got these cupboards everywhere um, and they're so good for storage. So first of all, we've got another big radiator here. What kind of nursery tour has people talking about radiators? It's because I'm in like renovation mode. So above this radiator, we have the Atlas shelf. So perfect again, goes exactly with the crib and the drawers. And this is just like her little teddies. I think over time we might put like a little touch light on there. We might put some boots who knows this is really sweet for now and then i think i'm gonna love this so much because it's the perfect depth for storing all the stuff that you need to store 
I actually need to take more maternity pads to the hospital, according to the comments in my last video. We've got all her nappies, we'll have all our wipes, we've got her thermometer for her, for like in her mouth. We've got a thermometer for her head. We have cotton pads, we've got breast pumps, we've got more muslins, we've got all her house suite down there. We've got like all her like little toiletries and stuff. And I've got so, honestly, I've got so many. I've been sent tons, which is so kind, and I've bought loads because it's my favorite thing. I think once we kind of get using it, I'll share with you what I love. Um, I don't want to tell you everything that we've got in case, you know, it doesn't agree with us. So, that's her like cupboard, which I actually think will just be so good in general uh, throughout her life, honestly. The penultimate <laughs> item to show you. Penultimate means but just before last, doesn't it? That's what I mean anyway. This is her baby bath. I think this is so perfect because I have seen something that I'm obsessed with and it really reminds me of the Blue Lagoon. So you can do this thing with your baby and it's called a swaddle bath and you swaddle them and the, and the lovely warm water goes on the swaddle and keeps them cosy while they're sitting in this and you can give them a wash and it also means that you can just put them in your bath I really like the idea of that and how funny people did say this to me and I was like shut up but they were right I think I'll use my ensuite bathroom you know my, my bougie bath the, stand, the freestanding one I think that's going to be so great because the access is brilliant, it's a lovely bright open room, I think she'll love it. So for all the people that said when I said I wouldn't be sharing that bathroom that uh, yeah well you're already right. So this is our little bath, this is from Angel Care, this is actually from Mamas and Papas as well. So Mamas and Papas have got furniture, they've got loads of other brands as well, though. like honestly everything that you could need they have. And then my absolute favourite thing about the whole room is this rocking chair. This is also from Mamas and Papas, it has that gorgeous I can never say it, but is it bu bucle, buckle fabric, which is just so soft and like nice for a nursery, really nice curved edges. It's got solid oak feet for the rockers, so it's, it's an unbelievable quality. The two little cushions are just from Zara, home, how sweet, and actually they go perfectly. So there's a wee cloud and we've got the little moon, but it is the most perfect rocking chair. It would be great just for a cuddle, for reading books, and then when she gets a bit older, I bet she'll love it. Also, if this isn't your kind of vibe with the material or the colour, they actually have other colours. It's called the Helston Cuddle Chair, and and I'll make sure that I tag the exact fabric and stuff that I've got here, but I just think it's so nice. And then if we go in our bedroom, this is from Mamas and Papas as well, and this is the Lua Bedside Crib. It is so great, it's so easy. You've got these mesh sides as well, so you can have the crib right up next to the bed, so wee baby feels nice and close. It's gonna be perfect for me for night feeds and things like that, just having her right there. You've got the storage down here as well, which is really good. You've got the little mat that just sits right underneath. It's nice and light and airy and neutral. And then you've actually got this side here. So when you push the button down, you can have the side a little bit lower. So it just feels a little, that kind of like a little bit closer. The mattress is super, super comfy and everything's obviously machine washable. Another great thing about this is it actually has a removable bassinet. So it means that we can kind of put it anywhere for, for wee baby to nap. Adjustable legs as well, so you can get it to the perfect height for next to your bed. Can you believe that there's gonna be a wee baby in here in less than two weeks? insane. I actually love it so obviously. The house is coming on leaps and bounds right but this hall is still getting done up but from our room we can actually just see right into the nursery. It just looks so good. You'll see as well that we've got the wooden floors. This is the same wooden floor that we've got in our bedroom. Ralph came and did it. This is the coziest rug ever. This is from Ikea. I'll link the one that we've got but I am absolutely obsessed with it and do you know the dogs actually love it too. They definitely know something's going on because they come in here and just lie down and just spend time in here. They love it. It's so, it's just so exciting. On the walls the paint colour is Lick Soho House Taupe 03 which is actually the same paint that I have in the ensuite bathroom. And then this feather lampshade it's from, I think it's called Graham and Green. I absolutely love it as well. Everything in here, I just love. I think it's so good. Blinds, we just got from Apollo Blinds. So if you're in Glasgow, that's who we used and they were really good. Took, I think about four weeks to get made, but they're just really good blackout blinds. It's not completely pitch black, but it's not really not bad at all. And then actually the last thing to mention, which is from Mamas and Papas too, which is, it's so cool. You'll see there's a wee USB in here. This is, a little light that's underneath the cot. So you literally just push and it's almost like a little night light. So 
when it's like the middle of the night, it's just a really nice soft light that comes on. I'm pretty sure that it's on a sensor, but it looks really, really cool in here. It looks great when it's on and it's night time. I'll make sure that I tag absolutely everything that I've talked about. I think it's so nice and minimal. I think there's still loads to do. I'd love to get a little bit more on the walls. We'll get her name up. And then a really weird feature in this room. This is like a tiny little ceiling rose right in the middle of the window, which makes absolutely no sense to me, but it's kind of cute. I wondered whether we could attach something to this and something I thought would be really cute is to have like a little kind of hanging cloud and then when she gets older she can change it out for like a plant or something else. I really really love the canopies you get so they hang from the ceiling and they go over the bed but I thought we'd save that until she's like a wee bit older and we can do it for her birthday or something and she can get a wee bit of a big girl room but I just love it in here. Oh my god this chair is actually it's so comfortable as well this is like a cuddle chair and a nursing chair so it's it's ergonomically designed it says for nursing so I know that it doesn't have anything above my head but I think it'll be great. And then her view, this is actually one of my favourite views in the house that she's got out the window. Oh, I hope she likes it. I mean, she's got, gonna have absolutely no idea what's going on, so I'm sure she will like it. <laughs> but it'll be cute, it'll be really cute looking back and seeing how her room changes and stuff. I was obsessed with my room when I was young. I, I spent all my time in my room. And then when I was old enough to like learn how to clean my room, I cleaned my room like so intensely that like I wouldn't even sit in my bed until I'd had a bath and I could go to my bed. Like I was obsessed with my room, so I hope she's the same. And it'll just be so cool when she's like old enough to want to like pick things, like her favorite color and stuff like that. Oh my God, I wonder. So great. So guys, that is her nursery. I think it looks so beaut. I think she's gonna love it. It was such a transformation from the start of what this room looked like before. And I think it will really stand the test of time. I think that there's loads of things that we can kind of tweak over the next few years. And then yeah, like I said, when she's big enough to want to choose her own favorite things. You know, kids are always obsessed with something. I actually can't remember what I was obsessed with, but you know, you end up with kids with like Disney bedrooms or whatever. I think this is perfect and calm for a wee baby. And then when she's a wee nut job toddler, she can do whatever she likes. Jack has just summoned me from my scrambled egg on toast. So I'm gonna go and eat that. I really hope you liked the video. Thank you again, mamas and papas, for working with me on this and on Baby Girl's room. It's just perfect to me. So I uh, hope this is interesting. <laughs> I guess uh, this is the kind of last video that I'm filming before she's here, so it might be a little while before I speak to you again. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. This fucking hell, this is really hard. That makes me want to cry. I've got cotton wool because oh my god, cotton wool. What's <laughs> since getting <laughs> my god? I think that the colour and style of these would go with anything. On, oh, I feel like I'm gonna cover this fucking. Right. We've got Peter Pan. No, it's not Peter Pan. This is the last bit of work that I am. Um, oh my god, I actually can't fucking speak. Oh god, where did I get that? We ruined the layout. <laughs> and I need to go and pee, so BRB.